Sure can. This is a free clinic, isn't it? No. Psych out. <laughs> Uriah N. Barber's the name. Looking for a job's the game. Um, what sort of work were you looking for? Paying. Aren't we all? Yeah. Uh, do you have a resume? Of course I had a resume. What do I look like? There you go. Welcome to Denny's. Read the back, read the back. Wow, you seem to have had a lot of jobs in the last couple of years. Fifty. Fifty? Mm-hmm. Papa's a rolling stone, baby. <laughs> Somehow he's covered with moss. Oh, uh, Mr. Barber, I, I don't think that we can help you. Why not? Well, we need people who are reliable, dependable. I mean, the reputation of our... No, no, Mr. Barber, please don't cry. <laughs> but what am I going to tell Glodine? Your wife? No, my cat. <laughs> it's been a long time since she bellied up to a Frisky's buffet. <laughs> Have you ever seen the ribs on a cat? They look almost... Tasting. <laughs> and what about Doreen? Your dog? No, my wife. <laughs> Have you ever seen a woman who's lived off Frisky's buffet? <laughs> I don't know, though. What are you? Care? Oh, Mr. Barber, please wait, wait. Look, I will find you a job, okay? I promise. You'll find me a job? Thank you. I thank you. <laughs> thank you. And Glodine thanks you, too. I got it right here on me somewhere. <laughs> Holding them up? Uh, I don't see it. <laughs> oh, hey, Elliot. I didn't know you were here. Been here since six, making copies. Annie, I finished my novella. Move over, John Updike. There's a new bard of white suburban angst in town. <laughs> and he's working for a minimum wage and free office supplies. <laughs> You'd have been here early, too, if you were Roger's roommate. You were roused at five by the voice of a Lufthansa stewardess screaming, Hornitov! Hornitov! I couldn't tell if she was in ecstasy or invading Poland. Hi, how you doing? Buongiorno, amica mia. Como se bello oggi. Uh-oh, someone hit that switch on her back again. Here, I'll just... I'll just flip it to English. Hey, that's funny, Elliot. I need a job. <laughs> to eat some with a client. Oh, you don't mind, do you, sweetie? Hey, great mixing of patterns. <laughs> I'll have to excuse her. She's my best friend. Oh, it's okay. Friends before clients. You see, I'm paying for Italian lessons because I have a model in Gossi with the photographer Gianfranco Palmera. A what? She goes, they see. You see? See. Si. You see, once I kiss up to Gianfranco and his mother tongue, it's arrivederci to the competition. Yeah, or he gives a gig to Claudia Schiffer. Oh, please. She's got nothing on me. Except a boyfriend who can saw her in half. Whoopee. <laughs> Please, ladies, don't rush the muffin man at once. Hey, Sid's here. Hey, Sid. Annie, why don't you give her the uh, Raymart job? They've been pressuring us to fill it by the end of the day. I don't have a card for Raymart. Oh, that's right. I was writing a haiku on it. Oh, I'm two syllables short. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Raymart. Oh, how do I say this in Italian? Um, no? Ten bucks an hour. Loving Raymart. Ciao, grazie tutti. A Annie, I need your help. Oh, um, sure, Sid. I, I'm sorry, could you just give me another moment? Oh, sure. Friends, muffin men, then clients. <laughs> what is it, sir? Last night I watched Death of a Salesman on PBS, and all of a sudden it hit me. Eureka. I am the Willie Loman of brand muffins. My work is meaningless. Oh, no, it isn't, Sid. I mean, you keep people happy and regular. Yeah, let me bask in that for a moment. All right, all right. Wait, now, let me see what I have. Um, oh, hey, hey, here you go. You can help keep the parking spaces clear at the new De Niro movie shoot. You can be traffic cone manager. I could be a cone man? This is like a dream with cones. <laughs> Annie, look at this email from the head office. It says Mr. Murray's been fired. 
That's awful. Hey, who is Mr. Murray? Our regional manager. Ah, never met him. Yeah, he came by a couple of months ago. That says they're sending somebody new by the end of the week. You know, this year's bean counter. Well, he should be pleased with my performance. This is the best story I've ever written. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, I'll tell you what, Annie. Why don't we get this guy a job at the New York Review of Books? <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. I'm just happy to be in this year's bean counter. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, you know, we never were properly introduced. Uriah Napoleon Barber. I'm your new boss. Oh, yeah, right. And the cat in your shirt's your personal assistant? <laughs> Very funny, Annie Kathleen O'Donnell, employee number 30389, born 11567, height 56, weight 1. I believe you. Uh... <laughs> Not so fast. He could be guessing. Yes, and I'm guessing you are Elliot Tenney, employee number 77321. At that point, frankly, your file started to bore me. What about the, the placemat and the, and the, uh, the outfit? And... Uh, you, oh, you mean my little interview. It was just a reconnaissance mission. <laughs> and did I learn a lot? <laughs> Close your mouth, you're catching flies. <laughs> now, on the other hand, keep it open. We'll save on pest strips. <laughs> hey, Sid, what's going on? Annie, what a morning. I lined up a new client. Mustafa's short and skinny clothing. Uh, oh, that, yay. That's great, Raj, a new client. Yeah, I gave him a break on commissions, and I promised not to date his daughter. <laughs> what a So to celebrate, man. right, I made a little stop over at Saks. They had a sale on Sea Island cotton sweaters. Annie... Feel this. It's like butter. Wait a minute. That is butter. <laughs> Raj, this is our new boss, Mr. Barber. Who, oh, him? Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Roger and Nico Giuseppe Leonardo Carlucci, Jr. <laughs> oh! Uh, hey! <laughs> How you doing? Peachy! That office sent me down here to slash cost and increase productivity. But we've had a great year. Yes. Profits were tremendous. Now we knock off a little overhead, they'll be absolutely obscene. <laughs> but, folks, I'm not going to be able to do this by myself. I'm going to need your help. You, by the water cooler. You. And you, sir. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Oh, Annie, thank God. We thought we'd never see you again. Hey, Ralph, huh? <laughs> Oh, it was brutal. He fired Teresa and made me watch. He fired Teresa? She was so nice. Yeah, he said he wanted to fire one of the nice ones first. <laughs> and he threw my novella in Shredder. Well, I guess technically it wasn't long enough to be a novella. It was probably more of a novellini, but... <laughs> What'd he do to you? Oh, it was bad. He reprimanded me. Then... Oh, he said I was too easy on the people I gave jobs to. And? And he said it in a very brutal way. Oh, no, he liked you, didn't no, he? No, he didn't say that. What did he say? He said... You were the only person here worth a damn. Well, aren't you special? <laughs> okay. Not happy. I spent the day in auto parts dressed as Sparky, the human spark plug. I was encased in a plastic barrel with this on my head. <laughs> Annie, hear me when I say I am not going back there. Oh, yes, you are, Sparky. <laughs> we have a new boss, and he's watching every move that we make. A new boss? Well, what's he like? What's he like? He fired three people on site. He banned personal phone calls. And something tells me he's not going to be very supportive of my writing. Oh, that's terrible. Mm -hmm. Is he cute? He's a power-hungry, sadistic, manipulative monster. Is he cute? I don't know, Maybe I guess, a little. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, <laughs> Not that he scares me, that chihuahua in a suit. Mr. Carlucci, if you're going to insult me, at least be clever about it. 
I've been called everything from half pint to amoeba booger. <laughs> my own daddy used to call me rat boy. I'm sorry, sir. So's my daddy. <laughs> this is a list of Barber's commandments. Unlike God, I did not run out of ideas after only ten. <laughs> Thou shalt not look out the window? Gives people hope. <laughs> oh, and now, for the piece de resistance. Ah. Oh, what are those things? These things are the people pleasers uniform of efficiency. 50% nylon, 40% dacron, 10% zaculon? <laughs> this is some experimental fabric. It's very itchy. <laughs> oh, Mr. Tinney, Mr. Carlucci, this is the official People Pleaser sales pitch. Would you please read it as written? Miss O'Donnell, I have a special list for you. These are the people I would like eliminated from your files. Raymond McKenzie, Sid Cougat, Dee Dee Edelstein? Yes. What, I, I can't give these people jobs anymore? Oh, please. Dee Dee Edelstein? The woman only seems to be able to keep a job long enough to be able to get the employee discount. That only happened five, Bloomingdale. six times. Me? I remind you, yesterday you were going to help me just because I told you I have an underweight cat. <laughs> Delete these people. No. What did you say? She said no. <laughs> but I, I could have misheard. I was... <laughs> Not delete them. These are people, not typos. And I, what people are we pleasing if we can't even help someone by giving them a hand? Look, I personally vouch for everyone on this list, and if just one of them screws up, then you feel free to fire me. Oh. So you want to play a little Russian roulette? <laughs> With bullets named Raymond, Sid, and Dee Dee? <laughs> <laughs> Click. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> Hello. This is Roger Carlucci from People Pleasers. Allow me to give your firm the reason People Pleasers' employment office has been pleasing people for a passel of years. <laughs> Moreover... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Willie, this is pathetic. You know, I feel like going in there, right? And what? Come on, Roger, we need these jobs. I counted my assets last night. I've got $39 and a two-week supply of rice cakes. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go home and see if I can't reconstruct my novella. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You're gonna need a lot more tape. Make sure it's not company tape. How does he do that? He has ears like a lynx. <laughs> well, Miss Do-Gooder, it's five o'clock. Do you know where your losers are? Still employed. Thanks for asking. Mm. <laughs> Hi, hon. Didi, what are you doing here? Oh, please, please tell me you didn't quit Raymart. And let you down? No way. Besides, Annie, I love it there. Spending time encased in that plastic barrel, I have lost three pounds of water weight. <laughs> to hell with the gym, I'm wearing that thing around my apartment. <laughs> Didi, you've got to get out of here. Please, Barbara's commandment number 68, thou shalt not chat with Didi on company time. <laughs> I got my own commandment? Cool. Hi, Annie. Sid, what? What are you doing here? You're supposed to be managing cones. I was. And then I saw some scuzzy-looking punk lurking outside Mr. De Niro's trailer. So I went and I told him to get lost. Turns out it was Mr. De Niro. <laughs> he raged bullishly. <laughs> then they fired me. Oh, no, no, Sid. I'm sorry, Annie. I guess I wasn't ready for life in the fast lane. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It's over. He's gonna fire me. Might Annie, as well just turn in my Zacchaeus. Annie, just calm down. You take a deep breath. 
We've been here before. Now just back up and tell Dee Dee, what is this I hear about Robert De Niro? <laughs> I'm so glad that you asked me to come with you. I didn't. Annie, I'm so glad that I thought of it. <laughs> I've never been this close to, uh, Bobby De Niro. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Don't park here! What am I, out here for my help? Come on, move along! <laughs> oh. I'm gonna kill Sid! Hi there, girls. How much? <laughs> How much? Sorry, Gramps, not without a note from your doctor. <laughs> you know, I think if you hurry, you can still catch Baywatch. Go home, enjoy it. <laughs> you had to wear a miniskirt. It's the movies. Dee Dee, we're cool women. <laughs> cool women today. Dee Dee De Niro tomorrow. <laughs> It's the two guys from the Cable Access Show, Ion Calcutta. Yeah, great. We are here live on the set of, well, close, close. to the set of a big American motion pictures. Hi, I'm Dee Dee Edelstein. Hello. And, and that is my best friend, Annie O'Donnell. Oh. Yeah, you yeah. See, hey, you know what? I have something to say to Mayor Giuliani. I am cold, I am wet, I am on TV for the first time looking like a drowned rat because of your potholes, pal. Villain Rudy, I swear to God, I found a jeep down there. Very interesting. Thank you very much. Now let's hear from the babe in the miniskirt. Huh? And I, I'm, well, I'm not an actress, um, but I think I have some really good instincts. Allow me to tell you why people pleasers has been pleasing people for a passel. <sighs> Look, Mr. Wong, let me level with you. As luck would have it, I'm half Chinese myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, listen, brother to brother, our company is the best, and I would love to tell you why over a nice duck. <laughs> Your office? Tomorrow? That's great. Oh, Ninge Woje Won. That's how you make a sale. You just told the man you were Chinese. Yeah, I think I also asked him to give me a kiss. <laughs> I'll, I'll never reconstruct this story. It's... Uh, come on, Elliot. So what? Write another one. Oh, sure. What if Melville had lost a manuscript to Billy Budd? I would have had one less set of cliff notes to buy. <laughs> By the way, Elliot, you know, that story was whacked. Isn't it the one with the blonde boy the whole ship was in love with? Roger, it's a story of innocence thwarted. It's a story about a bunch of guys who need to see some dry land and some chicks. <laughs> Is he here yet? Is he here yet? Oh, I have been up. All night long. But fortunately, I've been drinking a coffee. A lot of coffee. I'm fine. I'm fine. Why are you guys moving so slowly? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Barber. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you very much. I'm fine. Who asked you? I heard the idle buzz of non-work-related conversation. Uh, guess, Mr. Barber, you did. But prior to that, I landed an account by departing from your little Stepford sales pitch. <laughs> and another thing. The only time I'll get caught wearing this thing is when I win the Masters. And I hate golf. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, would that be okay, you don't have to wear the jacket, or okay, get out the classifieds? He doesn't have to wear the jacket. None of you have to wear the jackets. Those jackets were just a little test. Two words describe the fighting spirit of this crowd. <laughs> uh, Mr. Barber, if you were just faking about the jackets, does that mean you saved a copy of my manuscript? Of course I saved a copy of your manuscript. It's lining the bottom of my cockatoo's cage. <laughs> you know something, you were so easy. <laughs> O'Donnell, my office. Coffee? Oh, no, no. More than a gallon makes me a little jittery. The people from the Robert De Niro film called me today. Oh, uh, really? To today they called you? Yes. I have absolutely no idea who you sent down there. 
But whoever it was, they liked him so much, they want those same people back there for the shoot tonight, all night long. <laughs> I hope you can forgive me for doubting your judgment. Oh, you know, we, we all make mistakes, Uriah. <laughs> Mr. Barber. Well, see, there's one right there. <laughs> um, can I go now? Sure. By the way, you looked lovely last night on Ion Calcutta. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what? This means I'm I'm fired. I'm fired. No, of course not. It just means I want you to do your job, and your job is to hire the right people in the first place, not spend all your time cleaning up after everybody else. You know, Mr. Barber, with all due respect, I think that you could try and be a little nicer to a girl who was killing herself to do her job. And I am, you know, I really, really am. And, and so are Roger and Elliot. And if you would just stop walking around here waving imaginary firearms in people's faces, I think that you would see what we are capable of. Are you finished? Well, I don't know. Am I? Yes. Well... Good. Then if you will excuse me, I have to go drink a whole lot of coffee because I am going to be up really, really late tonight. And you watch Eye on Calcutta? I watch everything. I'm everywhere. Haven't you been paying attention? <laughs> Hey, Annie, uh, why don't you go home and let us take over for you, right? Hey, you know what? I got a really good idea. Why don't I go home and you guys stay here? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Is that him? It? It's him. It's Bobby. <gasps> hey, I'm Bobby De Niro. I am talking to you. I am talking to you. You get it? I'm talking to you. I got nothing from the side. Here, Annie, hold this. Oh, we'll use this. Yeah, yeah, wait, hey, 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 A love so dangerous it could never be exposed. You cannot have one breath of scandal. A choice so shattering it could never be faced until now. How could I be sure you still love me? How could you not me? Richard Chamberlain stars in The Thornbirds, The Missing Years, coming February 11th.